Planet Dolan. What reptile still around today had a prehistoric version the size of a smart car? How old is the world's oldest surviving fossil of a creature's eye? From incredible scenes frozen in time to amazing scientific discoveries, here are 15 of the craziest fossils ever discovered. Hey everyone, my name is Melissa. I'm here to caress your brain cells with weird facts from all over the world. Number 15. Two predators, two prey, three animals. Somehow, this fossil portrays three different creatures playing out a cartoonish scene. A pterosaur was flying above the surface of the ocean, looking for a fish to eat. It caught one, but just as it did, a much larger fish jumped out of the water and grabbed a hold of its wing. The pterosaur couldn't shake loose, and the fish's teeth weren't strong enough to bite all the way through the wing. The struggle killed all three of them, and they sunk to the sea floor to be fossilized. Number 14. A velociraptor and protoceratops were found fossilized in a very particular movement. The position of the fossil seems to have captured them in the middle of a fight. The best guess for why they were fossilized in this exact moment is that they were abruptly buried by a landslide. So that probably means the fight was a draw. Number 13. One of the most incredible fossils ever discovered was of the ichthyosaur. It was a mother carrying three babies. All three babies were in the same fossil. One of them was found under the mother, fully birthed. Another was still inside waiting to be born. The third one was found still in the birth canal. The fossil actually preserved the scene of a live birth, even though it obviously wasn't live for long. Number 12. Coprolite has a very official and special sounding name. It sounds a lot cooler than the nickname Stink Rocks, but even the nickname is cooler than the fact that the coprolite is just a fossilized piece of crap. Literally. Coprolite is a piece of dinosaur poop that has been fossilized. Because that can happen. Number 11. This prehistoric snake was hungry, but it couldn't open its mouth wide enough to eat an entire dinosaur egg, and it wasn't strong enough to crack it. So instead, it just hung out at the nest, waiting for an egg to hatch, so it could eat one of the newborn dinos. But just as one hatched, and the snake moved in for the kill, a landslide buried them both, preserving the scene for eternity. Number 10. A 100 million year old fossil found in Brazil is notable for one very particular reason. It belonged to an early relative of the shrimp, and it had all the parts you'd expect to see, including the penis. Yes, this is the oldest fossil of a male reproductive organ ever found intact. And no, it's not the size that matters in this case. It's the quantity. The creature had two of them. Number 9. So we've had ancient shrimp with their junk hanging out, and we've had mothers in the middle of childbirth. This may be the middle point between the two. This fossil shows two turtles, one clearly on top of the other. There's not much else these two could have been doing here, but knocking shells. Sexy time. Yeah. Number eight. Trilobites thrived in the world's oceans until about 270 million years ago, and their fossils are some of the most interesting in paleontology. One fossil from over 500 million years ago seems to show the earliest known compound eye. It turns out trilobites had compound eyes, and that in over 500 million years, compound eyes have barely changed at all. The structure of this eye is extremely similar to the eyes of many insects today. Number 7. Imagine looking out your window and seeing a hummingbird. That's cool, right? Hummingbirds are nice, but wait. Now imagine that it's an ant. That was a real creature that existed in North America around 50 million years ago. Hummingbird-sized ants with wings. Number 6. When the first oviraptor fossil was discovered in Mongolia in 1922, scientists theorized that the dinosaur was an egg thief, as the eggs around it appeared to belong to a different species. But in 1993, a similar egg was discovered to have an oviraptor embryo inside of it, which means that the initial oviraptor fossil wasn't guarding eggs it had stolen, it was tending to its own eggs. A year later, in 1994, another fossil was found, this one actually showing the oviraptor sitting on its nest of eggs, the same way birds do today. Number 5. Since there used to be giant flying ants, it's fair to wonder, what kind of creature could eat such a massive insect? The Beelzebufo, better known as the frog from hell, would have been one such creature. From its fossils, we can tell that it could grow to be about a foot long, and probably had an impressive bite strength. 
It's possible that it didn't only eat insects. It may have been big enough to even eat baby dinosaurs. Number 4. Trilobites are some of the most interesting ancient creatures to study. Having gone extinct more than 250 million years ago, they're also one of the oldest. But you know, they may have failed to survive, but it wasn't for a lack of trying. Paleontologists have found a number of fossils depicting mass breeding events, basically trilobite orgies, where billions of the creatures come together to mate. They even got naked by ditching their hard shells to participate. Number 3. You've heard of the woolly mammoth, right? And you know that the rhinoceros still exists. But what about the woolly rhinoceros? The strangest thing about this creature isn't what the fossil looks like, it's where it was found. The woolly rhino was first discovered in England, meaning that a relative of the modern rhino lived in northern Europe during the Ice Age. Number 2. The giant tortoises of the Galapagos Islands are known for being some of the largest and oldest reptiles still around. But they would have paled in comparison to the Carbonemis. This turtle was about the size of a smart car and appears to have eaten anything it possibly could. Even crocodiles were prey for this monster. Number 1. Antarctica was the site of one of the most unusual archaeological finds of all time. They found sperm. It was fossilized, it belonged to a prehistoric worm, and it was approximately 50 million years old. Apparently, this particular type of worm reproduced by fertilizing a protected cocoon directly, which is how it was able to fossilize and stay preserved for so long. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.